Welcome back to Old War Stories with Uncle Jay. New set, new surroundings. I'm actually away at Sharky 626's house. And while my ancient laptop is busy rendering other videos of the mischief that we've gotten up to here, <laughs> uh, I figured I would take the time to record some more Old War Stories. So those will be ready for release. I'm borrowing Sharky 626's tripod just because I didn't need to bring mine. And that's really it. So this one is entitled, Do You Remember Where You Came In? Well, this was back from the days when I was a salesman at Tiny Middle. Now, we had our own brand of flash drives. And we sold them, of course, in all different sizes. They started back in the day at one gigabyte. And then, of course, you had your two, your four, your eight, your 16, 32, 64, and 128s by the time I left. But, of course, you know, as the capacity goes up, the price goes up. But we would always send out coupons in the mail, in the postal mail, to customers or possibly prospective customers. I don't know exactly how that worked and where this whole idea came from, but it would entitle the bearer of this mailer to a free flash drive. And it would have been, oh, maybe a 32 gig back in the day. So we're talking yeah, 2007, we'll say 2007 somewhere in there. So basically all they had to do was come in with that coupon and get the drive and give that mailer to the cashier and they would pay nothing. It was free. Simple as that. But, you know, it's a big store. It's a big place. And there weren't really places to get lost in there because it was just a big wide open area that was the main section at the front were the doors where you would come in and people who paid would go out and the register is there of course and we'd sell ink cartridges and paper and software and some other Accessories, blank CDs and DVDs back in the day. All the accessory stuff, the little, you know, few dollar item kind of things that were out there. And there were some bigger ticket items. Um, I think mice, trackballs, joysticks, uh, computer speakers were out there. So there were some bigger ticket, ticket items out there. But around the perimeter were the quote unquote boutiques. So as you'd come down, You'd have a customer service desk over here. And later on, when I was in the shop, that was actually behind that. And if you walk a little further, you could go into this section. That's where the printers were. And that was the section where I worked. And adjoining that, all in this same kind of area, were hard drives, motherboards, processors, memory, computer cases, networking equipment, um, digital cameras, all that kind of stuff, but no actual pre-built, ready to go out of the box computer systems. That was further on in the systems department, as they called it. And then as you walk further, there were the Apple products. All of this whole area going around was open to the main big section. So really, it was pretty difficult to get lost in there. It really was. You just kind of look around. Oh, yeah, I was out in that big area before, so let me head back there, and then I'll see where to go, and etc. Well, I'm back over here in what they call the peripherals department with the printers and all that. So they had to come into the store, walk almost halfway back just to get in that area. And then I'm a little further back and they'd come up to me with the little mailer 
and they would say, where do I get this free flash drive? Or give me my free flash drive, you know, depending on who it was. So we kept those flash drives at the registers in the front of the store. The cashiers had all of these bins, they'd open it up and they'd have their two gig, their four gig, eight gig, 16, etc. And they'd just grab one out of there. They would have the, what we call the SKU numbers, SKU for stock keeping unit. And that's actually a term in the industry, in the whole retail industry. Uh, for that and you'll also see as an aside at grocery stores that little sticker they put on fruits and vegetables sometimes it'll say PLU PLU for price lookup and there's usually a four digit number and those numbers generally are universal so if you buy a whole watermelon it'll be a certain number you can go to another store it'll be that same number on there even though their systems are different so it's sort of a universal kind of thing at least here in the u.s well anyways these people would traipse all over the store end up coming to me and as you probably well know i had a way of dealing with people i learned this from trial and error they would come in and they'd say Where's my free flash drive? I said, oh, up front by the register. Where's that? And then I would simply say, not, oh, right where you came in. You know, the registers are right at the exit doors, so just ask the cashier. No, I wouldn't say that. They'd say, it's up front at the register. Where's that? Do you remember where you came in? So I was actually dissing or denigrating them, calling them stupid without calling them stupid. As if they're like a goldfish, as the saying goes, that, you know, once the goldfish goes around the goldfish bowl, it forgot where it was before, you know, and it's like new territory again. Yep, the attention span of a goldfish, these people the general public. But yes, when they would come in, I'd say up front at the register, where's that? Do you remember where you came in? Right there. <laughs> so a long story for a short punchline, but usually that's how a lot of jokes go. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this edition of Old War Stories with Uncle Jay. I have many more to go, as when I record these, I generally do you know, a bunch at a time. So you'll be seeing me in this location for a few weeks as this series will go on. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.